or not, anytime you use uh, an item in Maya, uh, over on your left hand side here, it saves it. So you can keep going back to that same item you use if you don't want to keep using the menu. Uh, the reason I'll keep using the menu is in case anyone forgets, it's select. Select Edge Loop 2. But you can always use that over there. Okay, so. Getting to the bottom now, and we just want to keep scaling it in. Okay. And we might want to start maybe making the next couple of scales a bit more, a bit more dramatic. Okay. So we're kind of getting the rough shape of the acorn. But one thing, one thing I don't like about it is I, I feel it's a bit too short. So what we'll do is stay in an edge mode. We're going to select all these edges, and we're just going to use the move tool, shift them down a bit. Select all these bottom edges. We shift these down a bit. So. If I had a thought, we could have done these, could have done this when we were doing the earlier ones as well. So I'll do is I'll tap space to come out in my four views. Uh, we want to work on the front view. Tap space to go back in. Okay, right. So I'm thinking we could really do with having this whole bottom section. A lot longer. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to tap F to zoom in on anything you've selected. Let's go grab these bottom edges. And I just want to drag them down a bit more. Okay. Now you notice these all come together at one point at the very end. If I wanted to move that down, hold down my right click and go on to go into what's called vertex mode. Okay. And there's a you can click and drag, select all these little points. And remember I'm just using the move tool. I'm just dragging these down. Okay, so let me tidy up tidy up these a bit. So all your tools work the same on the vertex mode as well. You can still scale, you can still select everything the same way. So I'm just going in now, maybe tidying up some of these scales so they look a tiny bit smoother. Okay, so come back to my view now. That's looking a lot better. Now, the you got a problem here. Notice it comes up and it's going in, and then it's coming out into this top little lip. Now we want it to come up a bit straighter. Now all that is is it's a set of edges in there. So we'll select and then select edge loop tool. Let me just grab that set of edges. And it's just a matter of scaling them out a tiny bit more. Okay. okay. So that's looking a bit better. <clears throat> now, the next thing we want to do is we want to make this little top here where we join onto a branch. I'm just thinking we could bet we could just do this using the extrude tool, which will be handy. Okay, so we've already we've already got the geometry place. If we zoom in here, I'm gonna go into face mode, and we're gonna use these faces right on top of our acorn. Okay, so I'm just holding down shift to select these all. 
It might be slightly different on a PC. Okay. Right, that's fine. So what we want to do is we want this set of edges to stay exactly where they are and we want new geometry to come out so we use the extrude tool so it's edit mesh and then extrude and then similar to my other videos I always get in the habit of going straight into my move tool after I extrude or my scale tool and then, then moving it or scaling it whatever way I want I don't like using those default ones because it gets a bit awkward to see sometimes so that's extruded now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this a bit so it's E on your keyboard or it's over on the left hand side underneath your move and I'm just going to rotate it a bit and then we'll extrude there again and we're going to move it okay and we're going to rotate that a bit more add a mesh extrude again Now what I want to do at the very end is I just want to scale it out a bit. Okay, so it's keeping that kind of cartoon effect. And um, well maybe we'll go back in. We'll go into edge mode. Select edge lip tool. We'll select these edge lips and we'll scale these in a tiny bit too. So it's just a really cartoony looking, really quick acorn. If we render that out, there it is. 